Good morning! Welcome to Lemon Juice for the Soul. This is our regular vitamin for our soul. The picture that we have is a picture of an emperor moth. Our verses for today is written in the second book of Corinthians chapter 1. Let me start reading verse 3 and 4. It read, All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is our merciful Father and the source of all comfort. He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. When they are troubled, we will be able to give them the same comfort God has given us. And then, uh, continuing on verse 8 and 9. So, verse 8 and 9, it read, We think you ought to know. So, Paul is writing to the Christians in Corinth. He's saying, We think you ought to know, dear brothers and sisters, about the trouble we went through in the province of Asia. We were crushed and overwhelmed beyond our ability to endure, and we thought we would never live through it. In fact, we expected to die, but as a result, we stopped trying on ourselves and learned to rely only on God who raises the dead. The picture I showed earlier, is a picture of an emperor moth. Like a butterfly, they also started their life as a crawling insect. And then, uh, they become cocoon. And then from the cocoon, they force themselves out to become a flying insect like an emperor moth. There was a man who found a cocoon of an emperor moth and took it home so he could watch the moth come out of the cocoon. One day, a small opening appeared. The man sat and watched the moth for several hours as it struggled to force its body through the little hole. Then, it seems to stop making any progress. To the man, it appeared as if the moth had gotten as far as it could in breaking out of the cocoon and was stuck. Out of kindness, the man decided to help the moth. He took a pair of scissors and cut sniff off the remaining bit of the cocoon so that the moth could get out. Soon, the moth emerged, but it had a swollen body and a small shriveled wings. The man continued to watch the moth, expecting that in time the wings would enlarge and expand to be able so to support the body, which would simultaneously contract to its proper size. Neither happened. In fact, that little moth spent the rest of its crawling, its life crawling around with swollen body and shriveled wings. It was never able to fly. The man, in his kindness and haste, didn't understand that the restricting cocoon and the struggle required for the moth to get through the tiny opening, were actually God's way of forcing the fluid from the body into the wings so that the moth would be able to fly it or would be ready for flight once it achieved its freedom from the cocoon. Just as the moth could only achieve freedom and flight as a result of struggling, we often need to struggle to become all God intends for us to be. 
Sometimes, we wish that God would remove our struggles and take away all the obstacles. But just as the man crippled the emperor moth, so we would be crippled if God did that for us. God doesn't take away our problems and difficulties, but He promises to be with us in the midst of them and to use them to restore us, making us into better, stronger people. And because of that struggle, it will bring the best of us. Like the verses that we have read earlier. So going back to verse 3 and 4, that is actually the reason why the apostles were able to write to the Christians in Corinth these words, All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is our merciful Father and the source of all comfort. He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. When they are troubled, we will be able to give them the same comfort God has given us. These apostles, these first Christians, they were the ones who turned the world upside down during their time. In the midst of trouble, in the midst of persecution, they were able to reach the whole known world with the good news of Jesus Christ. And that is because God allowed them to face those troubles, those trials, those circumstances, even persecution. It actually became fuel for them to go on and preach the gospels, the gospel. They were imprisoned. And when they were imprisoned, they even used that opportunity to preach and share the good news to the soldiers. When they were faced trials with governors, kings, and emperors, they used that opportunity to share the gospel. So, they were able to say, All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is our merciful Father and the source of all comfort. Are you struggling right now? Are you facing difficulties right now? Are you facing trials? Is there hardship? Then we are all in good company. God is preparing us for a mighty works. God is preparing us in order for us to be ready for flight. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much. We thank you for your reminder that you are always there. We might be experiencing hardship, trials, struggles, but the good thing is that in the midst of that experiences, you are with us. You are giving us comfort. And our prayer is help us to be sensitive, to feel your Holy Spirit, even in the midst of those situations. And we pray, Heavenly Father, that you open our eyes so that may see the things that you are preparing for us to do. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your comfort. We thank you for your presence. This is our prayer. In the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ, amen and amen. Good morning!